Midnight serenade me I know you want to save me But baby, I've heard all that before My name is Sandra Suter. I grew up in rural Saskatchewan and I got my start in music when some friends invited me to join their rock band. My indigenous name is Ogiji Dakwe, which means peaceful warrior woman. So can you tell us what it was like breaking into the industry and also the struggles you faced with either gender or race? Yeah, as a, an indigenous woman in this industry, I think I have a unique experience and also one I share with many others. Women definitely have experienced discrimination from the time that I was a young girl. Um, and I think that portrays itself sometimes in the way that we see young women dressing when they're artists and needing to do things then, dress in ways and act in ways that men don't have to do. I, I think that that's evolving, but in some ways it's devolving. For me, growing up in a family that I was adopted into as a non-Indigenous family, I didn't experience the same level of racism that many people experience because I wasn't identified as an Indigenous person. I did experience racism. I do experience racism now from time to time, but as a more mature woman, I have ways to deal with that. This is a, com a concert about uh, reconciliation, so it takes all of us to create the future that we can envision. I think for young people, it's really important to remember that although negative aspects of behavior exist in society, we all have choices about how we let that impact us. And we can find supports to help us to be able to deal with those things in a healthy way. When I face the morning sunrise, I give thanks for the water. Water that brings me life Help me, my brothers To keep the water pure Work with me Together we'll find a cure Do you know that when you look at me You see not only my history Do you know that what you see in me Is a reflection of our infinity We are a peaceful nation can you share some information on the awards you won and how it makes you feel accomplished in, in your career? Wow, I'm like really nervous now. I wasn't nervous at all before. But uh, it was a labor of love and uh, I want to thank all of you who listened to Cluster Stars, Chris and Vince. Uh, they're such a big part of the project, Andrew McLandris, for introducing us. And uh, the album was started in ceremony and so you know, we thank the creator, we thank the process that we engaged in. Vince made sure that I was always uh, in a good place in my mind, and Chris is a legend, and they both are. So for me to be up here with these guys in front of all of you, uh, yep. pretty darned awesome. Thank you very much. Please. Yes, thanks for asking. I have received uh, many nominations, and I think it's important for artists starting out to also remember you have to submit for nominations. You need to submit your work for nominations. It's not something that comes because you're terrific at what you do. Hi, I'm Sandra Suter. I live in Calgary, Alberta, and I'm up for Best Female Artist, Best Pop, Best Americana, and Song of the Year. I'm thrilled to be here, honored. Well, so happy that you're here, and I want to wish you a lot of luck tonight. Thank you. Thanks so much. It gives you validity and it allows you to be able to pursue funding opportunities and performance opportunities you wouldn't be able to pursue without those kinds of credentials behind you. So I won a, a NAMI award for best Americana recording. I won a best producer engineer for the work on my album Cluster Stars with Vince Fontaine and Chris Burke Gaffney producing and engineering that album. I was honored to receive an Indigenous um, Aboriginal Role Model of the Arts Award and also an Esquail Award from the Institute for the Advancement of Aboriginal Women and a Top 100 Most Powerful Women in Canada Award through WXM Network. 
so in addition to that, many, many other nominations through extremely worthwhile organizations that help me to grow as an artist and help me to network with other Indigenous artists. There's no end of positive benefits for participating in those kinds of opportunities. And the winner is Cluster Stars. So do you feel women, and specifically Indigenous women, have fair opportunities in the entertainment industry? I think that we all forge our own path. I think that it's really important to be able to understand how to present your work to funders and in a way that will allow you to be successful in your funding application. It's a, a, an art form that will help you to be able to pursue being an artist in whatever your discipline is full time if you can get really good at using language that will address the requirements of a funder. And in terms of growing your art and getting exposure, and for me it would be festivals and opportunities to perform. I need to build my network. Uh, as an Indigenous individual, an Indigenous woman, I need to understand which entities are interested in my product, just like any sort of marketing activity. And so you need to do your research, you need to grow your network, you need to find your mentors, and you need to believe in yourself and hone your skills, get really good at your art. <laughs> I think they're critical. Their indigenous culture and art are not separable. You, you can't separate those as, aspects of who we are as an indigenous people. So I also think they're a really organic way to help educate non-indigenous people and indigenous people who don't yet know their culture as deeply as they would like to, to be able to learn. It's a safe environment and it's one that you can embrace in your own way. Dr. Joan Cardinal Schubert was one of my mentors and friends, and she was a, a, a force to be reckoned with, an, an amazing woman who traveled across the world speaking about Indigenous rights and women's issues. And she said, dream big. And I totally agree with her. Too much, too much, too much. Yes, uh, that's part of what I believe my role on the planet is all about. I, last week I had this tremendous opportunity that came to fruition. There's an organization called the Downey Wenjack Fund. Uh, and I'm an ambassador to the Downey Wenjack Program, which is a legacy that Gord Downey and his family created to help to bridge inequity between Indigenous peoples and non-Indigenous peoples. And because of their outreach to me and my connections in the music world, the Calgary Musicians Association spread the Downey Wenjack platform across all of the musicians associations in Canada. So that's one example of um, that kind of work that's really important to me. Aspiring Indigenous women who are looking into the arts, what would you say? 
I would say know how beautiful you are. It's part of you. You're a life giver. You have everything within you to accomplish your dreams because you wouldn't dream them if you didn't. Believe in yourself, keep walking forward, and have so much fun. Thank you for having a perfect day. Thank you.